back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. Today I'm going to show you guys the double MC connector. See if that'll focus. I don't know. I can't see the camera, but this is a double MC connector. It has two spots to put in your wire. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. And I'm going to run the wire down below. And uh, let's jump right in. All right, guys. So first things first, I got my 14.2 over here. And I also have a 14.3 because I'm going to be doing a three-way switch. So I'm going to run a th three wire between these two right here. And then I'm gonna make a power wire over to my receptacle to plug in to power up this contraption. So I'm gonna go ahead and strip out this 14.2. I'll see you guys back here in a second. All right, you guys, so I got my 14.2 and my 14.3 over here. Um, it's gonna be a little bit easier to differentiate, but once you put it inside the MC connector, it kind of gets crisscross. So if your wires are not really tight together, they kind of spiral out of control and it's hard to tell which hot goes to which, which neutral goes to which. The grounds don't really matter, but um, especially if you're doing two 14.2s, um, it's hard to differentiate which is which to what circuit. If you're doing like a kitchen circuit or something, it's hard to differentiate which is which. So you might want to put like a piece of tape on it before you put it through the MC connector just so nothing comes unraveled or anything like that or do one at a time. But uh, that's just something to be aware of. So as you can see, I got one right here. You put the second one through. And especially if these, like I said, are not spiral together, you can see how easily that would get uh, lost. I got this one in, and then go ahead and put your second one in. It's pretty easy for the most part. Um, just go ahead and snap these in. You can usually hear it click, I think I got it. And once you get your connector ready to go, all you do is put it in your box, it's already knocked out. So there you go. And then you can go ahead and just staple your wires down however you want to do that. Like I said, I'm gonna be running this three wire over to this box and this is gonna be going over to my receptacle to power this unit up. So that's how to do a double barrel MC connector.